Are you struggling to 3 star because all your heroes are sleeping? <laughs> Worry no more because in this video I will be showing you how to triple the maxed out base at every town hall level without any heroes. At Town Hall 7 we have the Zap Dragon attack strategy. First of all find where are the air defenses and the air sweeper. Once found the most important thing is to plan out how to destroy the air defenses. For one air defense we are going to use 5 lightning spells and for the second air defense we are going to use a clan castle root rider. When it comes to deciding where to use lightning spells then there are two things to take into consideration. First is the location of the air defense relative to the air sweeper. Let's say you are going to attack this space then you always want to approach it from behind the air sweeper which means the furthest air defense is the upper one that we are going to zap. When it comes to this space then we are also going to attack from behind the air sweeper but since all the air defenses are in a perfect line then the first point is not a deciding factor. Second thing we have to consider are the nearby defenses. If there is an archer tower or a wizard tower nearby that you can zap along with the air defense then definitely do that. In this particular case there are two seemingly identical options and we are going to pick the right side air defense. This is because right outside of this compartment there are two cannons meanwhile left side has a cannon and a mortar which means if we are going to use our clan castle root rider from the right side then she would die way earlier. As soon as the root rider is going to take down the left side air defense we are going to use one dragon to create a funnel from the left corner while two dragons are going to work their way towards the air sweeper. Once the outer buildings have been cleaned up it's time to send in the loons to check for any air traps before sending in the dragons. The last lightning spell can be used according to the need. One way is to zap the defending CC troops especially if it has a lot of low hit point troops as one lightning is enough to kill them instantly. Or secondly to deal a tiny bit of damage and reset the attack animation of the last air defense once the dragons get nearby. In order to avoid running out of time I also included some archers to the army so they can help with cleaning up any Corner Builder Huts at Town Hall 8 Zap Dragon is still the strongest attack strategy. Similarly to Town Hall 7 we will start by destroying the air defenses. First of all we are going to get rid of the air defense that is the furthest from the air sweeper. Also when destroying the air defense make sure to damage as many nearby buildings as possible. In case there is a BK nearby try to damage him also as it will save your dragons valuable seconds later on. So which one of these two last air defenses should be zapped comes down to which one is easier to take down for the dragons. Because the bottom right side air defense has two elixir storages protecting it meanwhile the upper right side has just one then we are obviously going to zap the bottom one. This is because the elixir collectors have a little less than 1000 hit points while elixir storage has over 2000 hit points. Now a funnel has to be created and since bottom right side has just two archer towers then we are going to use two balloons to check any potential air traps and two dragons to clean up that side of the base. From the top side use a clan castle troops to create a funnel and if there happens to be an air targeting defense then definitely try to get rid of it first. Now once the funnel is about to be finished on both sides sending balloons to check any traps and then spread the dragons along the side so they would immediately move towards the last air defense. In case it's complicated to get a clan castle troops then simply use one of the dragons to create the funnel from the top side. But if you can I would definitely get whether a root rider or 5 hog riders. Also CC full of loons is a viable option but then it would be better to use them to target the air defense once the dragons have been deployed. As you just saw if you pick the correct air defenses to zap and create a proper funnel then it doesn't matter how much of an anti-air base design it is. At Town Hall 9 an extra hero gets unlocked which means attack strategies get slightly more dependent on the base layout. If you are in clan wars or searching for a base in multiplayer then I would suggest to look for a design where both the defending queen and the clan castle troops can be eliminated by the kill squad. In this case we will obviously need to attack from the bottom right side so first of all we are going to create a funnel using baby dragons. Try to place them so they don't immediately get targeted by an air defense. Once the funnel is about to be done send in the clan castle troops containing one root rider into giants. Immediately back them up with 5 valkyries and around 5 to 6 wizards. Next up try to place the poison spell approximately where you think your troops are going to clash with the enemy CC. Then drop the rage to get rid of the key targets as quickly as possible. Because it's very important to keep hog riders together in one group then I waited until these defenses got taken care of by the root rider which then created a perfect path for 
for the Hog Riders. Now the main task is to keep Hog Riders safe by healing them up when necessary and looking out for any gaps where there could be a potential giant bomb. When you are using heal spells try to cover as many routes between the defenses as possible for maximum healing. Meanwhile you can start deploying rest of the wizards to clean up areas where the defenses have been destroyed. I did also take a free spell in my clan castle but in the end I didn't really even need that for getting the 3 stars. At Town Hall 10 we are going to be using loads of Valkyries and Witches. Both of these troops have one of the highest potential to bring you a 3 star without heroes except they have a weakness. And that's the signature defense of Town Hall 10. So as you can guess first of all we have to find the best way to get rid of them as early of the attack as possible. One of them we can destroy using spells and the deciding factor here which one we are going to pick is the extra value. If we would zap left side Inferno Tower we would be able to destroy also two trash builders things. But when we would zap the right side then we can also get rid of the enemy archer queen which is better value. Since the left side inferno is slightly in the outer areas of the base then we can easily get it destroyed by the log launcher. Now that we have a plan first of all we are going to use the earthquake spell to make as much destruction as possible and then we will wait until the queen is next to the inferno tower to zap both of them. Next up we are going to send in the golems along the upper left side to tank the damage. Then drop baby dragons to create a funnel by clicking cleaning up those outer trash buildings. Now we can send in the log launcher so it would deal damage to the last remaining inferno tower. After that we can deploy the witches to start cleaning up the outer buildings and once the funnel has been completed from the upper corner Valkyries can be deployed. As soon as the defending CC comes out make sure to use poison spell to slow them down. Rage spell placements are really base layout dependent but just use them on a bigger group of Valkyries when they are surrounded by a lot of defenses. Also use a heal spell to keep majority of your troops alive when necessary. Ideally not when your troops are affected by the speed boost that the rage spell gives because otherwise they are going to leave from the heal spells effect radius before they even get properly healed up. At Town Hall 11 we have to fight against another extra hero and a new key defense which requires a proper planning in order to succeed. Since witches and bats have the best chance at tripling a maxed out Town Hall 11 base then not only we need to get rid of the Inferno Towers but now also the Eagle Artillery. Against this particular base the best way to destroy as many of those key defenses as possible is by attacking from the upper left side. First of all we are going to remove as many trash buildings as possible using witches but make sure they are not in the range of any defenses. In case there are long range defenses then simply send in the golems and then witches to create the funnel from both corners. If necessary you can also use one baby dragon to help with the funnel. Once it's completed send in the ice golems followed by the log launcher. Rest of the witches and valkyries in the end. Make sure the log launcher is placed so it would open up all the compartments necessary to take out most of the key defenses we spoke about. The ideal time to use the rage spell is when Valkyries have walked into the core and also Log Launcher is about to release the clan castle bowlers. If both the Valkyries and bowlers are affected by the rage spell then they can cause a lot of destruction in the core. Meanwhile I already dropped all the bat spells and the timing of that came down to Log Launcher destroying the X-Bow along with the wizard tower. This is something I planned for when placing the Log Launcher and you should also always keep eye on the trajectory as it can destroy a lot of important buildings on the way. Now that the bats have been deployed the only thing you should keep your eyes on are the bats. And more specifically where are they funneling? If you see they are approaching a multi-targeting inferno tower with a wizard tower by its side then be sure to freeze them in time or otherwise you can say bye bye to your bats. At level 6 freeze spells duration is 5 seconds so I would advise to count seconds to 4 and then be ready to drop another because it has this placement animation as well. Even though I ran out of freeze spells and all my bats died then there were plenty of troops alive to destroy the last remaining defenses. Not gonna lie it's a really high risk high reward attack strategy but this is the best you can do without heroes. At Town Hall 12 we are going to be using Blizzard Dragon Attack. With this strategy you want to look for bases where the defenses are not way too spread out something similar to this. First of all locate the Town Hall because this is our main target. Secondly try to spot where are the air sweepers and which direction are they facing. 
thirdly try to find a safe place where to drop your super wizards. In this case we are going to try to get our blimp into the clan castle compartment so we have to go from the upper left side build a hut by sending in the lava hound to tank the damage and trigger any potential air traps for the blimp. This trajectory is also perfect because we can sneak that blimp into the core behind the air sweepers. Now comes a crucial part where you have to pay close attention if your blimp will even reach the desired location. If it doesn't then be ready to drop the invisibility spell wherever it's going to deploy the wizards. In case the blimp is perfectly healthy then make sure to manually drop the troops where you want them, but always be sure to use one invisibility spell right before the blimp is about to be destroyed. After the super wizards have been deployed quickly drop a clone spell on them followed by a rage spell and another invisibility spell. Now keep counting to 4 to drop another invisibility spell until you have ran out of the spells. It's very important to pay attention where are the wizards moving and then keeping them invisible from defenses. Once you have ran out of invisibility spells start looking where to deploy your dragons. That typically comes down to the location of key defenses. Since an air defense and the eagle artillery can cause a lot of trouble for the dragons then we are going to clean up these trash buildings using minions and a dragon from the laboratory so that the rest of the army would move in a shape of an L around the base. In order to funnel my main group of dragons towards the eagle artillery I had to clean up the upper corner buildings using few balloons and a dragon. Once the air defense started dealing damage to my balloons I sent in 4 extra balloons and a bunch of dragons. In order to get rid of the key defenses as quickly as possible make sure to use the haste spells. It's very important to leave couple of balloons and dragons for funneling the main army. Because we want the main group to take care of the defenses inside the base and not get distracted by the trash buildings and the the outer areas then these dragons are perfect to help with the funneling. Before I discovered blizzard attack strategy I tested so many different armies and I must say this strategy has one of the highest chances of getting a triple if done correctly. But it does require a lot of practice and planning. At Town Hall 13 things get extremely tricky as we are facing now 4 heroes without using any of them. Just like we did at Town Hall 12 we are going to aim to take down the Town Hall by looking at the best pathing where our blimp doesn't get pushed back by the air sweepers. That means we can send in the blimp from this angle. And inside this angle there are two options how to send in the blimp without getting interrupted by the air sweepers. One is from the upper right side air defense where there are a lot of potential giant bomb gaps. And then we have that right side air defense where we could potentially take down few expors into air defenses. Since the latter option will probably get us more value then first of all I deployed the baby dragon to start clearing out the outer trash buildings while we are flying that blimp inside the base. Luckily the lava hound tanked the damage long enough so the blimp was able to reach next to the expo. Since our goal was to take down the town hall as well then after the first invisibility spell I placed the clone spells just right between these two compartments so some of the troops would spawn inside the CC compartment as well. After the clone spells have been dropped immediately use a rage spell and another invisibility spell. Now follow majority of the troops and keep them invisible by counting to 4 until you have run out of spells. After you have placed the last invisibility spell start looking for key defenses that are dangerous for air troops and plan out how you can take them out. In this case I used a few dragons near the gold mines to create the main army a clockwise path around the base. As soon as the dragons get close enough to the air defense I like to use balloons to take it out. Since the distance from the border of the base to the air defense is not too long then 4 balloons is enough but in case it's further in or behind another defense then you might want to use also the haste spell. Because there is one air defense at the top right side of the base that is surrounded by air targeting defenses then I left the haste spell for the balloons I was going to use there. Once again as soon as that dragon got close enough I used few balloons and a haste spell followed by some dragons to clean up the buildings. Also I would highly recommend to leave groups of dragons and loons for any other areas of the base to help the main army funnel through the defenses easier just as we did at Town Hall 12. At Town Hall 14 we are following what we did at Town Hall 12 and 13 except we are going to be using super dragons. First of all we have to determine where can we send our blimp without harming our troops. Since bottom and upper side are eliminated due to the air sweepers then we have to go whether from the left side or the right side. Because right side has a ton of caps where the giant bombs could be then we are going from the left side corner. And more specifically we are trying to aim behind the eagle artillery or next to the expo to prevent our troops dying once the town hall goes down. So first 
first of all send in the lava hound to tank the damage for the blimp followed by a balloon to clear out few of those defenses. Because we want our blimp to drop the troops off at a certain spot then we have to manually pop it but before always place one invisibility spell where you are going to drop your troops. Then use two clone spells and a rage followed by another invisibility spell. Now just keep dropping those invisibility spells every 4 seconds. I personally like to count out the seconds loud as it prevents from missing the next one. If you are too late and there are scatter shots nearby then you can start organizing a funeral for your troops. Now we are going to start deploying our dragons from the bottom side because upper side of the base has less air targeting defenses left so we want to get rid of as many of them as soon as possible. Since here are quite a few buildings to clean up before the dragon gets to the archer tower then I used few balloons to take it out. Always try to funnel your dragon so the main army would be able to destroy the defenses without having to waste time on the outer trash buildings. It's especially important to leave few balloons and a haste spell for any air defenses it can very easily snipe them out without causing much harm to the dragons. Once all the troops and spells have been used it's time to wait until the dragons are gonna clean up rest of the base. At Town Hall 15 we are going to switch back to dragons and I must say having any success at 3 starring is heavily dependent on the base. You will need to find a base where you can get down not only the Town Hall using Super Archer Blimp but also few air defenses eagle artillery and ideally also monolith and few heroes. Here is one of those bases and first of all we need to decide where do we want to drop the super archers. Because the town hall is here and eagle artillery is here then we want to transport them somewhere in between which means we have to deploy our lava hound followed by the blimp right about from the barracks. As they are moving towards the location I used one baby dragon to start cleaning up the outer buildings because we can't waste any time. Right before the blimp is about to be destroyed drop that first invisibility spell in the location where most of your super archers will be. Then drop two clone spells and a rage spell. Now keep using invisibility spells every 4 seconds to keep the troops hidden from any defenses as long as possible. If you are not familiar with blizzard or super archer blimp attacks then I would highly recommend to practice the blimp part in friendly challenges. Once the super archers are dead quickly scout where are the key defenses and accordingly send in the dragons. Main group of balloons and dragons will clean the base clockwise from the top of the base meanwhile one dragon can take out those trash buildings from the left side corner. Always before sending in any new dragons drop few balloons in front of them to check for potential air traps. As the main army approaches the right side corner we are going to use few dragons to clean up that corner so the main group can just destroy the defenses that are close to the core of the base. How you are going to use haste spell is situational but in most of the cases you would want to use it to help snipe out any key defenses like you can see right here. Now I am going to do something I never thought I would but at town hall 16 we are going to be using some electro dragons. I never thought this day would come but after testing every single other troop in the game I figured out that the blue birds work the best in this scenario. If you want to know more in depth how to pick the base and where to drop your blimp then check the previous guides from town hall 12 to 15 but to put it short then you need a base that is not too much spread out. Also you want the town hall and the eagle artillery to be close to each other. So first of all we are going to figure out how to get our blimp near the town hall and eagle artillery without getting interrupted by the air sweepers. In this case the shortest way is by going above the ricochet cannons. First goes in the lava hound and then the blimp. I do like to use one baby dragon as well to start cleaning out the outer buildings. If you see blimp getting low HP then get ready to drop the invisibility spell followed by two clone spells and a rage. Now simply keep using invisibility spells every 4 seconds to keep the troops hidden from any defenses. If the compartment is big enough for the troops to move around then make sure to adjust the placement of the invisibility spells accordingly. Once all the super archers and wizards are dead start looking how to funnel your dragons around the base. Because one of the biggest threats to my dragons was the defending archer queen then I wanted to funnel the main army clockwise starting from the top left side. For that reason I cleaned few buildings from the left side corner using a single electro dragon. Then send in few balloons to trigger any air seeking mines and now simply funnel your main army through the rest of the base by deploying few electro dragons to clean those outer buildings. This allows the main army to run through the defenses and stay alive. In case you need an easy strategy with heroes then here is a guide for every town hall level. 